Uh, you know, you meet so many people, there's so many fans out there, what, what's the best thing for you for a show like this? Well, I enjoy meeting people and talking with them and, yeah. and taking pictures with them. And, uh, Are you with him? Yeah. I like to make people happy. Uh, yeah, he has a nice well, smile. He's been doing that for a long time. Pacific Coast Highway, driving the uh, the Fisker today. Kathy said that she wanted to go to the beach and take a walk with her coffee. That's what we're doing. Ted's Rancho was. And I got to go to Ted's Rancho for my 21st birthday. This is the site of Ted's Rancho that uh, was a restaurant in Malibu many, many, many years ago. And then the sea came and took part of it and a fire came and took part of it and eventually it just kind of disappeared. But Kathy went there when she was 21 years old for her birthday. Hey, what did you have on your birthday? you fit in this car but you actually do pretty well. Did you see the little shoehorn I have in my pocket to get in here? <laughs> it helps. It's, it's a big shoehorn. We're driving the Fisker. We're heading north going up to Calamigas Ranch. This is kind of exciting because uh, most people don't get a chance to do this, what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to go drive the, the brand new Jeep Gladiator and the hybrid Jeeps as well as the new Ram truck. Very excited about that. Yep. David's in the market, potentially for a Gladiator. We'll see. Yeah. I can see if I can fit in that one. Yeah, I think. Tough when you're five foot eight. Right. At least you brought your shoehorn. <laughs> so we have a selection of atomic toys that have moved in. We're mm -hmm. grateful to Leon's transmission. Yeah. We took it out uh, for a while and has exchanged it for other ones, and now it's in place. So atomic toys are on display. Some of the stash from our Santa Cruz run of all that vintage camping stuff. Uh, some of that stash is now nicely displayed. 
yeah. displayed in three oak cabinets, so that's ready for viewing. So it's going to be a, a fun weekend at the museum this weekend. So come out. And Muscles and Mojo. That's on right. Sunday. That's right. And, you know, I think the point is that that every time someone comes back to the museum, they're having a slightly different experience. Yes. You know, more stuff. Yeah. Okay. We're almost there. This is definitely more your size. Yeah. King size. Yeah, up in the top left, you'll get the, the multi screen, oh, yeah. right? So if you swipe over on that bottom screen, you actually go to see your nav. Uh huh. Uh, and then up top, if you hit the X in the top right corner, you can choose what you want to be there. Got you it. can do your HVAC or your. Yep. You're having a hard time seeing over. There's a trailer back up. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then oh, that's, you know, normally no. that's right over your fifth wheel receiver or your yeah. neck ball. Mm -hmm. And then that, if you turn the steering wheel right now, that'll, that line actually moves so that yeah. you back right up to that. Taking this out?
mode, we're in the Ram. Mm -hmm. uh, which, so which version is this? This is the 2019 Ram Power Wagon. This is the Power Wagon. Okay, David's driving. So, A little scary. Oh, that dude. This is Nick. We're at the top of the peak here at Calamigas Ranch, and we're driving this incredible Ram over here. David wants one of these cars. I don't know if he's gonna go off-road in one of them, but we're certainly having a lot more fun in these than we are in the Wranglers right now. I expected to take the Wranglers off-road, and we're in this, and it's incredible. Well, the Power Wagon is a big vehicle, and it's definitely the biggest vehicle here. We're, we're on smaller, narrow trails. We're really threading the needle with a three-quarter ton truck, but it is the most off-road capable pickup you could buy, so what better vehicle? Right? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, give me a, you know, a couple, of, couple of, the, of the super highlights of this truck. All right, so the Power Wagon has a lot of off-road features, but some of the highlights are the lift kit, the 33-inch tires, a lockers front and rear, and of course, a 12,000-pound winch comes standard hanging from the chin, so you can pretty much pull yourself out of anything. Yeah, I, I think it's more David's size. It's, it, uh, he's, he's over there smiling. He's having a good time. All right, thank you, man, for getting us through us alive. Right on, man. We'll do it. We got a long ways to go. Yep. I wish I had Ooh. <laughs> That's a little nerve wracking. This is pretty steep. You ain't seen nothing yet, buddy. Now, on your uh, steering wheel at about uh -huh. the 4 o'clock position on the horn surround, you see gear limit? Yeah. You that? Uh -huh. Now where it was to be able to limit your gears, now it limits your speed. In the uh -huh. upper right-hand corner of the cluster, you see 0.6 miles an hour. Go ahead and let off your brake right now. Where do I sh Oh, right there. Okay. If you let off the brake right now, the truck will move at 0.6 miles an hour. Uh -huh. Now, when you press plus, and you can take it all the way up to like 5 miles an hour. Gotcha. But the truck uh, generally does this at about 2 miles. I can't tell you how steep this is, but it's incredibly steep and David does not have his foot on the brake at all. This is pretty incredible. Turn the parking brake on, put it in park. Oh. We 
talked about making the suspension work for you and getting yeah. the tires into the holes. I can stretch this whole thing out because I disconnected the sway bar yeah. and because we have supple, supple suspension, but also um, because of the articulate right here. Uh -huh. So I have extra flex in the suspension system. Uh -huh. That same suspension system, I have a link coil on the back instead of leaf springs, and so I can stuff that left rear tire up into the fender wells mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So really the only tires that got me a lot of traction right now are my right front and my left rear. Check this out. The right rear is basically off the ground right now. Wow, look at that. Jeez. <laughs> so you're teetering on right front and left rear right now. In this case, we probably still have enough traction to pull through without the lockers, but this would be a place where you really want to lock the axles up to be able to put all the traction to those uh -huh. two wheels to push you through. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 